Hello, my name is Rosario Rolandi. I was in the car business for the last 25 years and we're gonna talk today about what happened if I didn't know I had warranties and suddenly I see it on my contract or um, I uh, want to cancel my warranties or I might not tell you something you feel that was not honest, what's next? And that's what I'm gonna talk today with all my years of experience. I hope I will help you to save time and overall money because you work hard for your money, save your money. It's yours, keep it in your pocket. Please hit a like if I help you with something and subscribe because I'm putting a lot of good information free information for you guys. I have a lot of uh, phone calls um, for different people. I didn't know I have these warranties. I will tell you my personal opinion. I like warranties. I like up. I like road hazard, this protection of your tires because you don't have a deductible and it has no limit of miles and uh, it's not prorated. In that case, now I like warranty for pre-owned cars. I always say I don't buy a pre-owned car without a warranty car because you don't know it's better to have it and don't have it. And that's how warranties work. It's, you, you know, you don't like them until you use it. And then you say, oh, thank you, Lord. I have a warranty. <laughs> Happen all the time. Somebody called me and said, Rosie, the finance manager told me that if I get this warranties, the maintenance and uh, scratch warranty, all kind of warranties, I will get a better interest rate. For example, this person told me the finance manager told him, and that's something like, I was like, oh no, no, no. Uh, that if he buys the warranties, his interest rate will be 4%. And if he didn't want to buy any warranty, his interest will be 10%. That's highly illegal and please dealerships don't don't sue me or uh, manufacturers don't sue me nobody sue me and, and that's my personal opinion and I know there's rules and regulation because you know for dealership for many years took advantage and now it's a lot of control over that kind of ways to handle business a finance manager is a salesperson and he's selling you warranties but you want, if you want it, it's good to have it. Uh, but if you don't want it, and then somebody's lying to you, you know, it's, it's, it's wrong. It's just wrong. I mean, you have to explain and tell you why. Now, if you don't want it, you're going to say, well, I don't want the car. Okay. When you say that to a finance manager that you don't want the car, after the salesperson spent hours with you, the manager already put it in the lock that was a sold car. <laughs> Your trading maybe is already being clean right now. Somebody else wants to buy it. Believe me, uh, if you say, I don't want to sign the contract because I don't want to buy the warranties, everybody going to stop what they're doing and they're going to give you the lowest interest rate without the warranties because warranties are an option. You have the option to have it. You have the option to don't have it. You are buying a car. That's why you went to the dealership. You are not going to buy warranties. Example, this person just signed because the moment hours they were tired, he said, well, let's go sign, get the lowest interest rate. Then he informed himself, or he actually, he called me. That if it's in the first three days, you can go back to the dealership, talk to the manager, not the salesperson, because many salespeople don't know better but they cannot go against the managers and if you can talk to the general manager even better talk to him and say listen I know this this is highly illegal just say it and I want to cancel immediately they can rewrite the contract actually yes they can if it's in the first three days they can and lower your pay because then you're gonna less you have less money to finance what happens if it's after the third day after the third day they cannot do anything it's already signed you come you can cancel it the first 30 days is 100 percent refundable this amount of money is going to send your principal and then you own less money but your payment is going to be 
the same. Some people say, well, I have to lower my payment. Uh, in the case, what you have to do is when you have the lower amount to finance, you will have to go to another entity like a bank or credit union and refinance that vehicle. It will cost you nothing. Uh, actually, it's free when you refinance with another entity because they want your business. They then lower your payment as soon as possible. But the dealership cannot lower your payment. You already sign up the payment. That's why when you go to cancel the warranty, many times they they all they will tell you why you want to cancel your warranty your payment it won't be lower and you're gonna say yes but nobody told me and it's my personal option and i want to cancel it immediately they cannot say no another thing that they do when you say okay 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 i'm gonna cancel it they can keep the cancellation form that you sign for three months in their uh, offices that's why what you have to do is when you say I'm signing the cancellation form, I will check with my bank to make sure the check was uh, sent it to the you know, bank you're going to finance in a month. If the money is not in a month in my account, I'm going to post it on Google. I post it on all reviews. I'm going to call the bank. I'm going to call the manufacturer. I'm gonna take my time to make your life miserable, but tell them what's gonna happen. Guess what? They will cancel it immediately. They don't want somebody harassing them. The salesperson don't want that, and the managers don't want the bad attention. Uh, today's days with the internet, all this uh, bad propaganda, uh, you know, it's, it's not good for them. Uh, many times when you go to the finance office, uh, they play games and tell you, you know, they show you the menu and they say, it, it does, you know, if you buy all the products, your payment is this, if you buy all the product payment is this, you buy this product, is then the lower one. But they don't tell you they are using a higher interest rate. They just play it. What you have to say is, I don't want anything. Okay? You just be prepared. I don't want any warranty please give me my payment okay and then they're gonna talk and talk and say listen i have to leave i have to do something and if you don't give me a payment without warranties i'm leaving right now with my car uh, i'm sorry that you have so sometimes to be rude but that's what you have to do to protect your money it's your money and i want the lowest interest rate possible they're gonna give you that after that you're going to ask, when they give you the lowest interest rate, you're going to say, well, and now I want this, I want this, I want this, whatever you want to do. And then you're going to know exactly, you know, what you're getting and for how much. And ask them, how much is this warranty? And how much is this warranty? Maybe it's worth it. I believe the warranties are worth it. I believe in gap is worth it, but I want to know how much are you paying for it? How much if I want to pay cash for it? It's an option. They cannot take decisions for you. I hope with uh, this information I just gave you, uh, I help you with something. Please hit the like. That's why I can keep doing this and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.